Hey guys, Joseph here. Before we begin our FindView GX1000 review, we want to share a comment that Panzer Platform, shock my favorite guy, and FindView have shared on our FindView GX1000 sample footage video. Right on, bro, Siv. I like the text overlay at the top of the screen with date and time, speed, firmware, camera model, vehicle battery. I wish VOFO would give us the option to have the text overlay at the top or bottom of the screen as well. Sometimes windshield glare from the dash cam makes the text overlay illegible. And FindView commented back to confirm that not only is the text stamp found on the front camera footage, it's also found on the rear camera footage as well. So we reviewed sample footage from other brands and models. We noticed that while many other brands do give you text stamps, VOFO, Thinkware, and Nextbase use a white text overlay on the video. Under perfect circumstances, this design looks clean, but as Chuck said, the text do become unreadable if there's windshield glare. Thanks Chuck and FindView for pointing that out. So here it is. The GX1000 is FindView's latest 2K front and 2K rear dual channel camera. Here's what you're gonna get inside the box. A 2K QHD front camera and a rear camera, rear camera connecting cables, 32 gig micro SD card, FindView hardwiring kit so you can enable parking mode, recording right out of the box, and the 1000 comes with a three year warranty, which is the most generous we've ever seen in the market. Just like the GX33 and the 300, the FindView GX1000 doesn't come with a display screen. But what you also notice is that FindView used a different design for the GX1000. Now, instead of having it hang off the windshield, the GX1000 sports a new wedge shape that's mounted right against the windshield. The GX1000 is gonna be a little bit bigger compared to the GX33 or the GX300. But because it sits right against the glass, we do find that it's a bit more discreet when it's mounted. The lens is adjustable up and down to accommodate different windshield sizes and shapes. Now on the front of the camera, right next to the lens, you're gonna see the security LEDs. While some people like to have it as a deterrent, there is an option to turn them off within the settings in the app. On the side of this camera is the power switch and the lock. You can toggle the switch to on, and it also doubles as a micro SD card lock, so the SD card is not going anywhere while the dash cam is recording. So this last piece right here, that's the Wi-Fi dongle. The GX1000 is a Wi-Fi enabled dash cam and comes with a mobile app, which we're gonna get into a little bit later. Moving on to the underside of the camera, you're gonna see two buttons, record and mic, which gives you quick access to the emergency recordings and to turn audio recording on and off. The Wi-Fi button, which you will press whenever you need to access the dash cam using the mobile app on your smartphone. There are a few upgrades that FindView has added to the GX1000, including the addition of the Sony Starvis IMX335 image sensor to the rear camera to give you 2K QHD video, as well as some AI features like thermal protection. The installation process is pretty straightforward. The GX1000 does come with the hardwiring kit for parking mode right out of the box. You're gonna need to find an ACC fuse, constant fuse, and a ground bolt. Our FindView GX1000 installation video is now available on YouTube, and you can also check it out in the links below. GX1000 is compatible with the Black Box My Car PowerCell 8 battery pack. And if you don't want parking mode, then you can also purchase a 12 volt CLA power cable separately and use your car's cigarette lighter socket for a simple plug and play solution. Now, video quality. Just like the GX300, the GX1000's front camera sports a Sony Starvis IMX335 image sensor to deliver 2K QHD at 30 frames per second video recording of the road ahead. So something I wanna point out is that both of these dash cams are using the exact same image sensor. They're also using the same processor, the all winner V536, and record at the same field of view at 122 degrees. But we did notice that the GX1000's video quality does look better. And that's because the GX1000 records at a higher bit rate compared to the GX300, 16 megabits versus 12. So with the GX300, FindView used the two megapixel silicon optronic F37 image sensor in the rear camera to deliver 1080p full HD. Now with the GX1000, they upgraded that to a five megapixel Sony Starvis IMX335, making the rear a 2K QHD camera as well. And this is also new. 
the rear camera now records at a higher 16 megabit per second bit rate compared to the 8 from the GX300 rear camera. Now the GX1000 comes with FineView's auto night vision that allows you to record clear and balanced video in tough to capture environments like nighttime, underground parking lots, tunnels, as well as very bright daylight. And my favorite feature is back as well, smart time-lapse. Also available on the GX1000, recording at six frames per second in normal continuous mode and two frames per second in parking mode. I really like that it was able to capture additional details like all those road signs, license plates was really easy to read, which is definitely gonna be very useful in the future. Another area that saw significant upgrades is the parking mode recording. FineView has added buffered recording as well. FineView calls this their absolute parking mode as it captures the 10 seconds prior and 10 seconds after the event to give you a 20 second clip of before and after the footage. So that way, nothing is missed. Now, if you wanna capture everything, there is smart time-lapse parking mode that records the surrounding continuously at two frames per second. Now in the event an impact is detected, the GX1000 automatically switches it back to 30 frames per second so that you get proper recording. Power saving parking mode, what it does is it turns off everything in your car except for impact detection. So you don't even get buffered or anything, but as a trade-off, you get parking mode coverage of 2,325 hours. Obviously we haven't tested this ourselves, but this is what FineView is claiming. And if it works, man, that's incredible. When an impact is detected in this power saving parking mode, it takes only 1.9 seconds for it to boot up to capture a 20 second footage. Any motion caught by the impact will also trigger the GX1000 to continue recording for another 40 seconds afterwards, giving you a minute long comprehensive capture of the incident. So you come back to your car and you see that it's been hit and run. All you need to do is turn on the GX1000 connected to the FindView app to check for the AI damage detection report, which brings us to our next point. FindView's AI damage detection 2.0 function. So what this is, is it sections your car into eight different impact zones and categorizes the impact on a three level scale to give you a detailed account of where the impact occurred, how strong it was, and the number of impacts detected. Now we know a lot of you live in warmer climates and a lot of you have asked us, hey, which dash cam should I use, especially if where I'm living is really hot. Now, unlike the other brands that we've seen where it just automatically shuts off the dash cam once it overheats with its voltage cutoff protection, FineView has this smart AI heat monitoring that switches the dash cam between parking mode and power saving parking mode. Now, how it works is as the dash cam cools down and the temperature lowers, the AI control will switch it back between motion detection parking mode. This feature is only available if you've selected motion detection or time-lapse parking mode recording. If you wanna transfer the video files off the SD card, or if you prefer viewing the footage on a bigger screen, you're either gonna to need to download the files onto your smartphone using the FindView app, or, you can take the micro SD card out of the dash cam, plug it into your computer and use the FindView's desktop viewer. You can download this app from the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Here's my feedback on the FindView app overall. Connecting to it was really easy. All I had to do was press the Wi-Fi button on the dash cam and it connected for you automatically. So with the app, I did find it really easy to play back the videos, change settings and even update the firmware. And here's the kicker, also for those of you who are non-English speakers, turns out FindView supports up to nine different languages. You probably know there are a couple of other dash cam systems on the market that offers the same camera specs. For instance, the VFO A229, ThinkWare Q1000, and the X1000. So here's what you need to know about the GX1000 and how it compares to the other ones. It doesn't come with a touchscreen display but it does offer some unique features that I wasn't able to find in other 2K front and 2K rear models. Namely, smart time-lapse, AI damage detection, AI smart parking monitoring, AI heat monitoring, and three-year warranty. For those of you who are looking for a cloud-enabled dash cam, well, I don't think the FindView GX1000 is right for you. But if you're looking for a dual-channel system that's reliable, especially for parking recording, 
then we actually recommend the GX1000 for you. You can learn more about the FineView GX1000 and all the other FineView dash cams that we carry on the Black Box My Car website. And if you're interested in the other 2K front and 2K rear dash cams mentioned, you can also find it there too. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, or you can speak to our team directly via live chat, email, or even give us a call. Now, if you're ready to make a purchase, be sure to use exclusive YouTube code BBMCTube at checkout to take 5% off. And if you want to support what we do, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Thank you for watching. One more time, just the last part. Yeah.